Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So back in August of this year, I posted that Microsoft was testing a feature in the Insider program, which first appeared in the Canary channel and then the Dev channel. And this was about five, six months ago, where you could repair Windows using Windows Update. Now, currently, if you want to reset and repair Windows, you head to your recovery in Windows 11, and you get this option, Reset Your PC. Now, this is going to be all set to change, and I'll leave that previous video down below, because um, it seems now with the Moment 5 feature update, it's going to be rolling out, starting possibly the end of February, at the end of February next year, 2024, which I have posted on, um, the Moment 5, that's our next feature drop coming in February 2024. I'll leave that video down below. But this new feature, um, Fix Problems Using Windows Update, is possibly going to be rolling out with the Moment 5 feature update because it's now found itself in the beta channel, as I've mentioned previously. And the beta channel is kind of a step closer now to public release. And the Fix Problems Using Windows Update is going to be found yeah under fix problems without resetting your pc so it's going to be found in this section so it's between fix problems without resetting your pc and reset this pc which is the older option and it's going to be found here and if we just head to a screenshot here we go this is taken from uh, that announcement and um, by microsoft in the insider program and this is just an older screenshot fix problems using windows update now Microsoft basically has had this to say about this new feature, which we are expecting to see rolled out, possibly with Moment 5. They have said, and I'm quoting, this feature will download and install a repair version of the OS. This operation reinstalls the OS that you have and will not remove any files, settings, or apps. The repair content is displayed on the Windows Update Settings page with the title appended with Repair Version. This capability can be useful in many instances, but is intended to be used for keeping the device secure and up to date. Devices may need to complete in-progress updates prior to this process taking effect. So basically, to use this feature, it seems that your device may have to be up to date with the latest cumulative updates and patches and so on and fixes. And as mentioned, could be rolling out with Moment 5 as early as next year at the end of February. Now, if you are wondering, how is this different from basically just resetting your PC? Because basically, it says, reinstall your current version of Windows. Your apps, files, and settings will be preserved. So that's the good news, is you won't lose any of your actual data. And reset PC, which is the current option, says, choose to keep or remove your personal files when reinstall Windows. Now, the difference, the key difference between these two settings, this is the new one. And this is the older Reset This PC. Uh, this existing Reset This PC, what it does is when you reset this PC, it can install a bit of bloatware. So um, software that comes bundled by default with Windows 11 or apps and so on that you may have uninstalled. Now, the key difference, as mentioned, is that fix problems using Windows Update will reinstall Windows 11, but it won't add any of the bloat and um, all the maybe apps and so on that you have deleted already. It's just going to repair your existing OS and it will reinstall Windows 11, preserving all your data and then not installing any bloatware, which I actually think uh, is a nice move in the right direction. And as mentioned, um, this is currently in the beta channel, so it is on its way down to stable. And the timeline for that could be, although not confirmed by Microsoft, it could be that the feature could arrive as early as February and or March next year, 2024, as part of the Moment 5 feature drop, which will be bringing the fifth wave of new features to Windows 11. And obviously, if I get any more information or wind of what's going on, I will post and keep you guys in the loop. But I actually think that something like this would be a nice move in the right direction, especially that it won't install any of the default bloat that comes packaged with Windows 11 when you reinstall the OS. And obviously, I'll keep you guys in the loop if I get any more info. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.